Brig is my favourite Overwatch character. She always has and always will be. One thing, however, I see, especially in the lower ranks, is that she isn't played properly and to the potential she actually has. First thing we are going to cover are Brig's strengths and weaknesses. Brig is the anti-dive character. If the enemy tank is on dive, Winston, Doomfist, Bowl, Diva, Tracer, Genji, Sombra, Kiriko, Lucio, just to name a few, she is very strong into these heroes. On the other hand, Brig can be quite weak into poke comps, as her only poking tool, her whip shot, does 70 damage on a 4 second cooldown. However, you can still make it work. Brawl comps are difficult when playing Brig as you can very easily get melted down at that very close range, but if you play Brig correctly into some Brawl comps, you can provide lots of value. Brig is also very good at punishing flankers and people out of position. If you're a squishy and you try to attack a Brig at close range, you're more than likely going to die. Now, we will go over and break down her abilities. First up is her Inspire, her passive. This is the strongest part of Briggs' kit. It provides AoE healing in a 20 meter radius that heals one uh, that heals 15 healing per second over 5 seconds for a total of 75 healing. To put this into perspective, if you're on Elias Well and you trigger Inspire, it will cover the entire point providing healing to everyone in that radius. It is triggered by doing damage, so the best way to trigger it is by whip shotting the tank. When you are playing Brig, this needs to be on your mind constantly. How can I trigger Inspire? What you need to be careful of though, is not running into enemies frontline trying to hit a couple people to trigger Inspire. You're more than likely going to die. It is however worth noting that Inspire does continue to heal even after you die, but it's better to stay alive. Whipshot is our highest damaging ability. It does 70 damage and triggers Inspire. As mentioned earlier, you usually want to hit the enemy tank, as they have the largest hitboxes, making them the easiest to hit. If you see that someone on the enemy is low, hitting them with whip shot is very consistent at securing kills. If the enemy tank is diving or pushing up to you and your team on high ground, you can whip shot them away. A good example of this is if you're on Pariso and Winston jumps onto the high ground. You can just boop him while there while he is in the air. Next up is her repair pack. This provides the targeted teammate with 25 burst healing and a healing overtime effect that lasts two seconds and heals 100 health. Depending on the situation you're in, you want to use this on a teammate who is about to dive into the enemy. You can double pack them, making the healing do 200 health over 4 seconds, or triple pack them to make it last 2 seconds longer and do an extra 100 healing, as the repair packs do stack on each other. You can use one on a low health DPS and support heal them if they are in danger of being killed, or triple pack a tank that is in danger of being killed as well. Now we will go over her ability that really defines her identity as a character, her shield and her shield bash. Briggs shield is what we in the business like to call paper thin as it gets deleted in a singular second. Briggs shield has 250 health. The most important thing that you can learn as Brig is when you should be taking damage and when you should have your shield up. You usually want to alternate between taking real damage and shield damage as you can disengage with their shield bash when you get low hence why you don't want your shield to break. Now we will cover a shield bash. This is a movement ability that on impact triggers inspire and does 50 damage. You never want to use this to engage. You can use it to attack a diving or flanking enemy but never when both teams are engaging. You will most likely get out of a good position and die providing no value to your team, leaving them a support down increasing the enemy or charge. This ability is very good for disengaging and repositioning as it sends you 12 meters forward in the direction you are looking. Shield Bash is also capable of counter pinning as if you Shield Bash into a charging Rhine, Doom or another Brig, both you and the opponent will be knocked down, allowing your team to quickly kill the knocked down opponent. The same can happen to you, so it is worth being careful. You can do fast 
damage combo of shield bash, melee, and whip shot that does 165 damage. Now, for a ultimate rally, it gives Brig 100 armor instantly, making her total health 350, gives over health to all her allies in an 8.5 meter radius, provides teammates with the 30 extra healing, a, extra health a second that stacks up to 100 extra health that lasts for 30 seconds after the ultimate ends. It gives Brig an extra 15% speed buff and it also makes Brig's shield bash stun the opponent and it gives Brig's shield an extra 450 health for a total of 700 health. There are two times each team fight where you want to use Rally. When your team is engaging so you can give them extra health, stun enemies, and just overall live a little longer, or if someone on the enemy dies onto you or your other support, you can pop Rally, stun whoever is diving you, basically one shot them. Depending on certain situations you can use Rally if you are about to die to give you an extra 100 health, but personally I wouldn't recommend this as if you are already likely to die, Rally is an extremely valuable ultimate that can heavily contribute to team fights. You never want to use Rally if you're stuck in a grav as you're probably going to waste it. The most important part of playing Brig well is her positioning. Even though Brig is a melee character, you want to be positioned in the middle of your team, more towards where your other support is to protect them if they get flanked or dived. She is the ultimate bodyguard character. I briefly mentioned earlier how Brig is good at destroying out of position characters, and this is nothing but the truth. If you see an enemy that is out of position, shield bash to them and delete them from existence. It is also beneficial communi communicating to your team that the enemy you are focusing is out of position. As mentioned earlier, you don't want to be on the front line as your shield is very weak and without it you're a sitting duck. I know it might seem as if it is the most important optimal place to be positioned, but trust me, it's not. Team comps is t Brig team comps. Team comps Brig is very good with a mirror dive comps or dive comps in general, as she is probably the strongest backline character in the game. So you will be safe leaving her there. She has great synergy with Anna, as she can protect Anna from being dived, which is her biggest weakness. Depending on the meta, she is also very strong with Zen, as depending on the character, Zen is weak to dive. And if you do try to dive into Brig Zen, you will get discorded, kicked, shield bash, and whip shotted out of existence. Brig Moira, Brig Kiri, Brig Bap, Brig Lifeweaver, and Brig Alari are all pretty good, and even matchups to go with Brig. These, ca these characters all have good burst healing that really well complements Brig's AoE healing. The worst support duo to pair with Brig is hands down Brig Mercy. Neither of these supports has good burst healing. Brig has a small 25 burst healing as mentioned earlier, but it's so small it's hardly noticeable. Mercy on the other hand does a stream of healing, which is not very valuable, and most of the time she is pocketing a DPS, making Brig basically solo heal most of the time. Brig Lucio is the final matchup. This is very complicated. Both are AoE supports that do lots of damage and healing without needing to actually focus on doing healing. This is a very meta dependent team comp that rarely sees play as they yet again provide little burst healing. However, they have the potential to wipe out the enemy as you can just frontline as Brig on this team comp as you can just go past the enemy tank with speed boost and also very quickly disengage. Again, it's very meta dependent. This really is all I can cover just explaining how to play Brig. If you want, I could do a VOD review that can explain comprehensively how to play Brig through gameplay. But other than that, that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay safe and healthy and I will see you all until the, in the next one. Until then.